Okay, hi everyone. Today I'll be discussing programmable unit junction transistor or PUT application and sample problems. So for this video, I'll be presenting two sample problems. Okay, let's proceed to problem number one. Determine RB1 and VBB for a silicon PUT if it is determined that the standard ratio or eta is 0.7, the VPIC is 10.3 volts and RB2 is equals to 5 kilo ohms. So to solve, uh, let's recall the formula that can be used to determine RB1 which is the standard ratio. So RB1 can be determined using the formula for standard ratio which is eta equals to RB1 over RB1 plus RB2. And this is uh, the same formula that we have been using since the previous topic which is UJT. Since all the values are given, we just need to substitute the values and solve for RB1. And we will be able to get 11.667 kilo ohms. And that is the final answer. Another thing that we need to determine is VBB. And to solve for VBB, it can be determined using the formula for peak voltage or VP, which is equal to eta times VBB plus VPN or the voltage across the equivalent diode. And uh, by substituting all the given, we will be able to solve VBB and get the value of 16.143 volts. And this is the final answer. So that's all for problem number one. Now let's proceed to problem number two. For the given network, which is shown here, if VBB is 14 volts, R is equals to 20 kilo ohms, the capacitance is 1 millifarad, RK is 200 ohms, RB1 is 10 kilo ohm, RB2 is 5 kilo ohm, I peak is 100 microampere, V valley is 1 volt, and I valley is 5.5 milliamps. Determine the following. So let's go through each item. Let's go first to V peak. So to solve for V peak, we'll again use the equivalent uh, formula, which is eta times VBB plus VPN. So however, for this sample, there was no given standoff ratio. But we all know that the formula for standoff ratio is shown here. So we will just need to substitute this formula for the eta on this initial formula for VP. Since both RB1 and RB2 are given, we will be able to solve this uh, problem. So this is the equivalent formula. Let's substitute all the given values. And we will be able to calculate the value of 10.033 volt. And that will be the final answer for VP. Now let's proceed to the next item, R max and R mean. Uh, we were able to already define and derive the solution or the formula for this item. And you could recall it through the topic of UJT. So let's recall that the formula for R max is equal to VBB minus VP over I peak, and substituting the values, we will be able to solve 39.667 kilo ohms. Take note that the value of VP here is the one that we have solved on the previous item. Next for R mean, the formula is VBB minus V valley all over I valley. And by substituting the values from the given, we will be able to solve the value of R mean, which is 2.364 kilo ohms. So therefore, the range of R, this resistor that is being used for charging the capacitor, is ranging from 2.364 kilo ohm up to 39.666 kilo ohm. And that is the final answer. Next item, uh, we need to determine the period T and the frequency of oscillation. And to solve, let's recall that there is uh, already a derived formula for the period on this topic programmable unit junction transistor. So this is period is equals to RC times logarithmic to the base E of VBB all over VBB minus VP. And since all the values are given, we will just need to substitute them all. And so, and we will be able to get 25.221 seconds. 
and that is the final answer for the period. Once we have the period, we can easily solve for the frequency, which is just the reciprocal of period. Therefore, 1 over the, the given or solve value for period, we will be able to solve for the frequency, which is 0 0.04 Hz, a very small value. And that is the final answer. And the last item for problem number 2 is to determine or sketch the waveform for VA or the voltage across the anode for VG, which is the voltage across the gate, and VK, which is the voltage across the cathode. So first, the voltage across the anode VA. Remember that VA ranges from 0 up to V peak, where it turns on. And the, the span of period from, from 0 to V peak is the charging of this capacitor. That's why this is the figure of the waveform. And once it turns on, it will go to the negative resistance region and quickly discharge. And the equivalent total time from charging to discharging is the one that we have solved, which is the period of 25.221 seconds. Next, uh, the voltage across the cathode here. So we'll just need to so by uh, subtracting the voltage across this PUT, which is uh, shown here, VA minus VB. So remember, while uh, the capacitor is still charging, the PUT is still off and there's no current passing through the PUT or there's no current passing through RK. Therefore, the voltage across that area is zero. And once it is turned on through VPIC, we will be able to solve the, the values and, and decrease gradually. And this is the equivalent value. And lastly, the waveform across VG. So VG is being controlled by the resistors and the supply VBB. That's why the formula for VG is eta times VBB. And that's actually equal to 9.333 volts. And when the PUT turns on, there will be a, an equivalent uh, uh, degrade or reduction of the current because that will flow through RK. That's why there is a drop in the voltage here. Then when the capacitor charges again, it will go back to the initial state which is uh, eta times VBB or 9.33 volts for this waveform. So that would be all for this video. Thank you.